Hey, and uh, we are stuck because now I, I don't even know if I was facing a glitch. We're actually gonna try again, and I love how, how it says that at the end I'm in progress. This game is playing with me. Actually, maybe we could upgrade something from the shop. Rebellion. I have everything. I have Rebellion maxed out. None of this is important. Look at this. No, none of this. None of this is required against Virgil. And he's not even actively trying to fight me. Yes, just start my mission. I don't care about a checkpoint. In fact, that menu indicates to me that they, they have a checkpoint set up for me. I think it's for every single action sequence a checkpoint's made. Which is stupid. Oh, lord. Okay, well... We're still going to test whether Ninja Theory's game actually doesn't want to work, or if it's just a matter of me doing something wrong. Yeah, because if you actually notice our old video of episode 20, we spent literally 30 minutes on that fight, and 20 minutes of it was that we had one little smidge of the bar left, and it would not go down no matter what we did. We spent nearly a half hour killing his Shadow Clone and defeating him at, like after conquering after attempting to conquer so many parries i mean one character can parry that much but at least we learn a strategy from that right is that during the actual main fight until you summon the shadow clone do not use double trigger and once the shadow clone is 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 active use double trigger you get double trigger while wailing on him finish it off and then you can finish off virgil that's the only way to do it you have to finish it you have to kill the devil uh shadow clone no matter what, before then. Okay, so Virgil is a total whore even in this game. Well, well maybe. It's too early for it to call on that. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a break with this four minutes that we have and replay the boss fight. Because I can't keep doing this. I'm almost out of energy just from tolerating some, some of the bad things and some okay things of this game. He means you. He means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through the tower to Mundus' lair. We would have failed 20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen. If you can't see the chaos the humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. Alone. This is the one thing that makes Mondays Virgil, tr they're trying to make Virgil be the villain through pride. They're also trying to do it through a slow process. I can't let you stop me. Virgil, he's saying, he has a lot of valid points that humans, by nature, we are violent as hell. But this plot has been used over and over again. And not only that, but they're rehashing Devil May Cry 3. They're just taking a different approach at it. I mean, like suddenly he he finally he becomes extremely aggressive right now. Over the entire time, he was very very intellectual. Literally, this is overused. They they gave them no reason to become this violent. He had a reason for being patient, but it's like it's like I wish you would say something like like to reference that he was in disgust about using a gun or wearing the fedora hat because he acted more like a human than he did a demon. No, he and he didn't mind using the fedora. Yeah, it's like he liked using the human technology. He liked you also. He's too casual about it, if you ask me. Yeah, he likes it, it but the they're trying to say he didn't like anything about being human. No, well, I don't, I don't see that. I'm just telling you they should have made it clearer, or they should have been more, like, out there with it. I mean, specific. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now we're at it again. All right. The Yamato and the Rebellion. Or should I say, the Yamato and the Rebellion. That's probably what it is. Okay, for a second there, my stabs were unresponsive. Okay, my overdrive can't get his uh, spiral sword. What? You're behind uh, him. No, yeah, I know, I know. The camera moves. Alright. He's being responsive now. Oh, right, right, okay. That rapid slash, though. Oh, I think I did something? 
No, the cutscene came in. You know, the first cutscene. Yeah, scene. it came into play. Yeah. It looks like you can use the chain whip as long as you get them off balance. See? And there you go. See? Again. Okay. We'll just keep doing it that way. You do realize I'm using payoff, right? Yep. Okay. Remember that. Remember I mentioned that. Alright. I remember. Payoff. Oh, it looks like you'd actually send it back to him. Yeah, that's the point of parrying. But except without the Shadow Clone, you don't get any, uh... Double Trigger Orbs. Okay, the swords can fire really fast. I'll give them that. Yeah, but I actually noticed a, uh, a way you can parry him back. From uh, the witch. That was not payoff. No, that's the cutscene. Okay, and I, I, I would have to parry the first one in order to parry in general. No, I know... Uh, from the witch, I learned how to do... Uh, I saw you do it. You need to use Osiris using Shredder. That's the way to get it. That's how to way to parry it really easily. The swords. Uh, uh. I'm not gonna spend another half hour trying to figure this out. Virtually, just wail on the devil, on the demon. Doppelganger. Yeah, the doppelganger until you get a full devil trigger, then finish him off. Because that's what he's utilizing. It's his doppelganger style. I mean, I wonder if this means he's using Dark Slayer. Judgment cut. He does a, He does judgment cut, close range, then he does teleportation, then a second judgment cut, mid range. Okay, and I can't move the overdrive into a dodge. I just see grapple points, so that says something. But the grapple points only show up after you knock him off balance. So it's best not to try to use him while he has his posture and his stance. Yeah. Here we go. Doppelganger again. Yeah. I have to wail on him by moving into my own double trigger. Yeah, but first get Devil Trigger full before you decide to do oh, that. Oh, definitely. I can't just get by with uh, something I loosely have. He's at the right. There he is. And I didn't have. I didn't mean to have the damn equipment. I, I, I just realized it. That's the. That's what you need to do. What? You need to avoid Virgil, keep them separate, and then wail on the doppelganger. I found. I figured out the, the way to beat him. You have to. You have to destroy. You have to destroy the doppelganger before you destroy you attack Virgil. Okay, that's a good question. Except, I mean, that's a good answer. But here's a question, though. Like, if I have to do that, then how can I how can I get them like just the doppelganger if Virgil will try and be in my way? That's the thing. They'll both try to get to you, but after they but if they walk, they both go different separate ways. But hold on, look at Virgil. See, he he got rid of the doppelganger. No, but look at Virgil though. He's taking damage by my Aquila. By my but it's Aquila. because you destroyed the doppelganger. Yes, I did. That's the thing. You need to destroy the doppelganger first, and then you need damage to Virgil. The problem is, we did it. We did that in the exact opposite order. We tried to destroy Virgil and keep on doing it over and over, so the doppelganger kept on showing up again and again. But we succeeded in that regard. Yeah, but after we destroyed it, it became a glitch that no matter that Virgil had zero health, so you had to do it the other way around. It, it acted like he got health back. But this is the it was gone. Virgil couldn't die. He became virtually immortal. A god. That's the glitch. You have to destroy the doppelganger first, or Virgil becomes a a god. He becomes a Mundus. In more ways than one. Huh. Well, that's a stupid uh, way to that's a stupid way to end a game that with a supposedly strong narrative. Devil trigger him. Oh no, Too never late. mind. Too late. Alright. Devil. Can't see him. 
Use the double trigger now. Now? Uh, uh, blow him up when he's in the air. You have a you have a rocket on him. Yeah. Could do that. Blow. Him. Uh, didn't affect him. It didn't blow him because he was right in the there. No, no, it didn't affect him. He had it. I used my Kablooey while he was in midair. Well, now what do I do? All right. He's gonna he's gonna be absorbed back into Virgil in a second. Cancel the double trigger. I don't see him. See? He... Right there. Right there. I missed. Damn it, do Helmbreaker. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to use an item because this is ridiculous. Small, small, small. Yeah. You don't really need that much health, and you're, you're pretty good at it. What? That should have been a parry. Double trigger, give, get him in the air. There we go. There we go. So what was it that I did besides the axe and the drop? All right, what was it that I did? You took out the double gamer simultaneously before you regenerated health. Well, I'll try to slow back that when I check this out on my own. So that means we did have a glitch in the first run. Is demonic angel is demonic nature or is it angelic because he has the devil trigger I am begging you please stop uh, okay i can see some genuine attachment to friendship because of dante befriending cat and virgil just using her as a tool i can see some of that in fact i i'm actually beginning to notice something like, I'm not say gonna say it's unique, but it's been done before, but it's used differently here. The he finally has his white hair! <laughs> yep, it's a bit of a troll thing, probably. Although Virgil had it since the beginning. He was full Devil Trigger. They're gonna be enemies in a later game. You can just tell by the, the by the fact that they're both one one or the other. They're not dead. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. You never will be. I can't believe that boss fight took this long. Like, like, in the Ninja Theory universe, even Virgil is a fucking complicated, overpowered piece of shit. It could just be the glitch. But then that could come with the territory here. Alright. You know, I gotta tell you. Oh, this scene. It's important. Do you remember how in the original game, Trish accused herself of being a, a devil, sort of, internally, and Dante saw right through that and welcomed her to the human race? You know, because she was able to cry, she was able to shed tears, sort of. Like, she was able to uh, to embrace a sort of, you know, a sh uh, shame, and she could eventually forgive herself with Dante's help. You know that, right? Yeah. They're trying to replay that scene here by making Dante the outcast. And the cat being genuinely human and welcoming Dante to her species. Really? They're just trying to reflect, like, they're trying to play former sentiments. And look, these look like early, yeah, these are early concept arts, p art pieces for cat and the main antagonist of the game. Lilith. Phineas. Man, and Ferb. Phineas where's and Ferb. Phineas? Bob Barbus, the J. Jonah Jameson of this game. Poison, the Slurm Factory creature. 
Now to play on Futurama. Okay. The concept art, which is also so shows up in Sony All Stars Battle Royale with Dante's storyline. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. That, what is that statue in the background? We never asked about that. Okay, that must be Delator. David Delator as Virgil and Tim Phillips as Dante. That's how they get the motion capture. He said they usually do it with helmets, though, and with uh, with headsets. Yeah, I mean, I do like the ability to use a copter here. And those are the geometric models for the characters. Although I wish they had just made a pure Devil May Cry 5 so I could enjoy this for days to come. And yes, they are using equipment and for the motion capture that they did for Avatar, in which Dante's original voice actor, Ruben Langdon, had been starring. <sighs> yeah, they do the facial patches so that it can pick up the character's motion from there. It's like a remote control to operate it, sort of. And they also use it to collect the, the movements. That must be the data. I am pretty ignorant about this occupation, so you know, don't take my word as a as a word to the far too wise with this with this career. No, no, I read a few things, but I'm not an expertise on this. Okay, producer Motohide Eshiro, supervising director Hideaki Itsuno. I mean, a lot of this Japanese uh, cast for the development of the game, it's the same thing from the previous games. But I feel like th this has taken so many steps back. You know what? Tell me what I did wrong with Virgil's boss battle, because I don't mind being wrong. Right now, I'm not exactly pleased. But in fact, I can actually take off my shoulders that I've played this game, and I didn't have to pay for it. Alright, the endurance was probably my cost, if anything. Endurance. And the rage. Rage. Really? And the meticulousness of putting things together. And by that, I mean, like, the idea of how to get across some bosses, alright? The idea with Lilith's nightclub, and it makes it almost impossible to play. I mean, it, it's even worse if you're a casual gamer. I, I, you know what? Now that I've finished this game, I'm gonna go back to DMC 3 and 4. I, you I, basically, you want to play DMC 3s to wash you of your sins of uh, playing this game. Yes, I want to wash my eyes, my sweaty palms, and my brain of the, the, of the, the eye rape that just occurred during the storyline, the gameplay, the movesets, the res unresponsiveness in controls, the, the glitching, the environments working completely against you, uh, the, the default kills on, like, over environmental platforms. Uh, with a lack of sur with a lack of true surface, um, what else? The lack that the actual any bosses don't even use any of the any of the abilities that your weapons that you're given for them. The use. fact that there are fewer weapons than previous games, fewer bosses than previous games. No boss rush, by the way. No workout to get to Mundus. The, that, that's actually one of the things I was going to point out as well. In any of the DMC games, any at all, you've had at least what? Ten enemies? You've had eight to ten boss fights, and you've had to repeat them just twice in DMC 1 and 3. I mean, 4 is too many, and 2 is just nearly non-existent. It's Number barely, four it's barely singular. Number 4 has ten enemies for each character, actually, but that's mainly... No, number 4 actually has four to six, but you have to fight them twice, as, both as Dante and Nero, and then Bloody Palace. Um... But the point is, there is zero boss rush here. Why did they make this decision? This I can feel the casual energy coming from this game. All right, it's got its own little demonic, angelic hybrid-based aura. All right, I, I don't hate this game outright with as much vitriol as some people do. I'm just very disappointed in some of the design decisions they to volunteered to do. I, I honestly, uh, let me ask you, sequel? They are gonna make a sequel with Virgil. Depend. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. They're gonna probably make one with Dante and Virgil, like what happens after the aftermath. And if they introduce Lady and Trish as just add-on characters that are not integral to the story, I will be pissed because they are actually very integral. Well, very. They, they were, but that's just it, though. I, I'm being honest with you. From what I can see. Lilith is supposed to be Trish, and Cat is supposed to be Lady, almost. Or the, both of the characters have, like, mixed, or actually mixed reversed. traits. No, mixed traits. Like, some from Lady, some from Trish, on both female pr protagonist and antagonist. But if they do that, 
uh, you know how many people are gonna kill them. Yeah, yeah. It's it's simple as this. Like I said, that lady literally had an integral part in number three. She has an integral part in the series in general, not only the books, in the, and anime, the anime, in the anime, but not four because she only showed up there. With she only showed up there, uh, but she does have her own life and she does ha- hunt demons. She's actually the one who brought demon on the hunting demon path. Okay, thank you, Unreal Engine. Now you can go piss the fuck off. Oh, yeah. And Trish? Trish is, again, a devil herself, a true devil, but who embraced humanity and turned against her own species because of her love for Dante. Yep. Both Lady and, and uh, Trish do love Dante, and they do have an on and off relationship on both accounts. Though, not pure. If you ask me, he Professional, de- not uh, bedroom. If type. you ask me, play the beautiful Joe games to find out by Hideki Kamiya, the true creator. In fact, did you see his name listed in the credits? Because I didn't. I may have missed it from looking over all the other names. Look it up when you guys are done. Yeah, but- you know, because Devil May Cry is copyrighted by Capcom, um, but not its original creator or his team. Oh, that's, that's really respectful. Like, literally. They should have... They should have asked him at least one thing, one thing to help make his franchise better. I would say more boss fights and more weapons would at least made it uh, and, similar. And the liberation, the liberal freedom to change weapons to any enemy in the game instead of being obstructed and hindered and blocked by heaven or hell and using the wrong, like the mismatch. With- there's no style change, there's no. Uh, Secret abilities. There's no real. You know, they're actually they were there was an alleged statement that said that they could have put it in the game, but they opted not to. Like, don't don't quote me, but there is a statement there. I will try and link it to the description below. I just like I have so much to edit because this thing is almost a nightmare for the wrong. I mean, the wrong reasons. Yeah. For instance, uh, uh, if you actually ever played Devil May Cry three and you ever ever used the doppelganger effect. Uh, my friend would actually explain it in better detail than I can. Yeah, the doppelganger in Devil May Cry 3 allows you to go two-player. It allows you to to move your character a few inches away from you, but he has his animations are exactly repeated and follow the player, all right? Here, here, it's just it's just a total pain in the ass. Don't, the end, don't bet on it. Oh, I see that achievement, all right? Who wouldn't put any one, two, and two, and so on together? What the hell? Don't talk. What? The. The. You know what? This is one game that I'm This actually... game is a big middle finger to the to anybody who's a diehard uh, Devil May Cry yeah, fan. Yeah, because now I feel like I am I have to adjust to the game itself, and I have to play it its way, which is total Virtually, bullshit. it feels like you just hoard yourself out. It's like a fighting game. People can experiment in whatever way they want, um, but, but, uh, but you can't always do everything tailored to your personal preference. Uh, it, it's just that in Devil May Cry 3 and 4, there's a different principle. Yeah, hell, even in 1, you could you could go any way about it, as long as you moved up to a triple S. Alright? So, any, any closing words? Because I want to close out. My eyes bleed, my ears hurt, my soul burns, and I feel like I just hoard myself out for a Nothing. piece of crap game it was all that's in, not not even that doesn't even it was all in doesn't vain. deserve the name. It was all in vain. Um, the thing is, though, I, in fact, I think I doubt. I personally doubt a hundred percent that any reviewer who has played this did not finish it all the way to the end. Here's what they did: they just did five, six missions, wrote their articles, and public and publicated it online. That's all they did. There's no way they could have finished this in time. Yeah. Unless they had over a week. Because, again, suspicion and the arousal of it. The fact that they published it on the same day. All of them at one day before release. Yeah, and the only way you could say that is... Even we... You've seen us taking this and uploading it all stuff... This game took us all this time just because we were doing uploads and and actually recording at the same exact time. Okay, I'm going to go back and archive and dive in through that video to check if it was a glitch that prevented me from winning because that's actually very important because I don't want to be accused of just uh, persecuting the game and taking my rage out on it. I'm actually trying to be very fair even though I have been a little bit upset and happy at some points. 
But uh, honestly, I cannot recommend that you buy this game for 60 bucks. All right, if you do, Capcom will never revisit the original universe because they want to. They want to. This is a sensitive moment for all fans, and they know that, and they want to play it their way. All right. So here's what you can do. Borrow a copy, rent it from a video store, from a video game store, go to GameStop and get it used, or just, I don't know, steal the thing. But why would you? Basically, the be best option I, s I say is, some one of your friends play the Sacrificial Lamb, you get it, all you play it at the same time, learn the entire story, see it all, watch it on YouTube, whatever you want to do, but get to see it, see what the piece of crap they made it, so you don't ever have to own it yourself. I don't think it's so terrible like Sonic 06 terrible, but let's just put it this way. Because of this game, I now have the confidence to go and play Devil May Cry 2 and to try and S rank every level, alright? Uh, I have nothing more to say other than I may do another gathering with more people again, with more YouTubers, I personally know. And we will play Virgil's Downfall, because unlike Dante, I'm a 100% expertise on Virgil's moveset. Look, stay tuned to more videos on Virgil practices with Double May Cry 3, and we will you will all join us, I mean, if you want, with Virgil's Downfall, the DLC pack that's coming out very, sh very shortly, and it will be uploaded uh, very shortly from now. See you guys next time. Uh, remember, we played this game because you didn't want to, alright? And now you no longer have a thing to worry about. The end.